at this cutie pie. His hands folded up. He always likes to fold them. And those cheeks. Hey, Teddy. Are you ready to go to Montana? It's your very first trip today. Are you excited? Let's see, you're nine weeks old now and you're about to become a traveler. Your very first trip. <laughs> Right. Just let me go back to sleep. <laughs> okay. They're all better. All you want is a nap time, huh? Hi, Theo. Hi, Dad. Daddy's gonna drive in the motorhome, and you and Mommy are gonna drive in the car. I'm me. And you too. Don't forget me! Yes, you're going to with Mommy. And Teddy, baby. Spontaneous here. So, do you want to lead, or am I gonna? Are you going for it? All right. I, I really don't want to be thinking about directions right now. I have two, three little kids in the back demanding stuff, asking me for pretzels and things. So, yeah, I don't want to be thinking about directions. All right. Okay? All right. I love you. I love you too. Okay, see you. <laughs> trip has to start with coffee and our favorite coffee hands down is the Dutch Bros. We really love um, this particular stand. We um, got to know the people who work here and they know us and so it's always fun to come and, and get a cup of coffee and especially today because look at that we have a free one that we've been saving for quite a while just for today. <laughs> so, let's get our coffee. I'm getting a strawberry and watermelon smoothie. Hi. Hi! How are you guys? Good. Dutch Bros coffee is number one. It's the best coffee that I've ever gotten at a coffee stand. I bet you can't guess what it is. What's your favorite kind of coffee? Let us know in the comments. flexibility in where we can go and where we can park and there's just nowhere to put three car seats in this motorhome. Welcome to Montana. All of them are really oh. <laughs> Hi. We Hi. made it. We're at our campsite. And I can stretch my legs out. I'm ex Yes, you too, huh? Because I am tired of driving. Yeah, we drove a long Ooh, way, huh? Too far. Ain't that yeah. mean it's getting dark, so we gotta set up fairly quickly, and the boys are antsy and ready to get inside. Hot dog buns, put out the slides. Hi, Teddy. Are you liking your first trip, huh? Your first trip ever. Yeah, he's all better now. He ate and he's all happy. So far he did beautifully. He slept the entire time we were, we were driving, so he's a great traveler, huh? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. What you got there, Theo? You get a new book? What's it about, Sammy? Take a look. Help Theo figure it out. Who's that, Sammy? Who's that, Theo? An astronaut. <gasps> it is an astronaut. What's this? Hey. <gasps> it's yeah. about space. space. When are you gonna read it? Tonight. 
<laughs> yeah, tonight with daddy. What you doing? Are you organizing your love? I am fixing this. Okay, how easy was it to put it together again? Um, well, it was fairly easy, but it took me six minutes and 55 seconds to put it all back together. We'll time you next time and see if you yeah. improved. <laughs> What's going on? Are you getting hungry again, Bobby? Are you happy to be at our campsite? Yeah! What are you gonna do now? Uh, play! Play? Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Go play! The nest will be complete. <laughs> I'm playing baby animals. That's a perfect nest for the baby. Yo! We're staying the night at a forest campground called Yak River Campground and it's just on the eastern border in montana next to idaho it wasn't where we planned on staying but it was getting dark and the kids were tired so we decided to stop here we plan on getting to glacier national park tomorrow or trying to find a boondocking place somewhere around the park we wanted to go somewhere close by, uh, close to home. So we're just gonna be out for a couple weeks. And this is Teddy's first trip, so we're kind of practicing with him. And I think he's gonna do just fine. I mean, Theo was, what, three months old when, or two months old when we first took him on a trip and we went all the way to South Dakota. Yeah, five states. <laughs> From Washington. And we thought Glacier would be a great destination because we live like four hours away and we've never been. I mean, that's kind of embarrassing, right? <laughs> so we thought, hey, it's a great place. And this year, thankfully, they didn't have big fires like last year. And so it, it should be beautiful. Maybe we'll see some autumn colors and we'll see what Glacier is all about. Can I get your jammies on? Look at your jammies on. Are you ready for bed? Oh, look at him. He's tired. Here, let's get your blankie on and then we can snuggle you up real good. You like your little sleeping bag? Yeah? Look at all the planets. Here is a lunar rover. Oh, yeah. No, that's a Martian rover. Martian And see? There's a spaceman. That's what Mars looks like. And look, do you know what that is? No. That's a galaxy. That's how big the sun is compared to all the planets. See? And this little one right here, that's the Earth. The Earth is teeny. Teeny tiny. And see how big Jupiter is? Yeah. You can hardly see it. Yeah. Forest campground was a nice place to stay for the night. It looks like most of the sites have picnic tables, but ours doesn't. But it has a fire pit and it's got a big rock up there. <laughs> All the, the roads are paved. We're here just at the end of the season, so it's pretty quiet around here. We don't have a lot of time to stay this morning because we're still on the way to Glacier. What you got, Theo? Uh, eggs. Rocks. Two rocks. Two rocks. I wanna find some gold. <laughs> You're gonna find some gold. This Be careful. Is steady, Daddy. What's that? This is steady up here. It's steady, huh? Yeah. And how are you doing, huh? Huh little Teddy? Wow, you're pretty high up. Hey Sammy. What do you like about the woods? I really like it. <laughs> yeah? What's your favorite part about the woods, Sammy? Yeah, grass. Grass. Okay. How are you doing, Theo? I'm good. <laughs> uh, I like uh, grass. You like the grass? Uh-huh. All right, let's go. Kalispell and hot dog buns. 
Hey Teddy, how do you like traveling, huh? He did really great today. I mean, we aren't done driving for the day yet, but so far so good. He actually slept the entire time again. And when it was time to wake up for eating, he woke up and here we are taking a little break. And I think that once he has a chance to play for a little bit, he's gonna be ready for going for another nap in the car seat. So we should have it okay today still. I mean, traveling with newborns in general is pretty easy in that, that they like to sleep. And so, so long as you make sure to uh, feed them and change them and give them a chance to stretch out, they do pretty well. Except Sammy and Tio didn't. <laughs> when they were little, they hated their car, car seats. I mean, hated with passion for the first three months of their lives. It's like we would have them in the car and they would start screaming their heads off, like literally turning purple in their faces. And you know how human brain is wired that you, you basically can't ignore a newborn cry. And so imagine trying to drive and then you hear that screaming. It's like you cannot focus on driving. You, you're in distress. You gotta stop driving and take care of them. And so it, it really wouldn't have worked that well to take them on a longer trip. Thankfully, Teddy loves his car seat, and so it makes it really, really easy um, so far, <laughs> which we're really grateful for. Are you happy? Yes, you're happy? Can you smile? Huh? Can you smile? These two get playing every chance they get. It's fun being in this part of Montana. We've never been here before in this area. It's real nice and it's real pretty. Hey, Irene, what's your favorite part of Montana? Uh, uh, all the play all the spots that we've been I really really like this area in general any area that has trees mountains and rivers mm -hmm. you can pretty much assume this is gonna be my favorite area yeah. so we're headed for glacier and as I understand it's full of those three things yeah. so I'm really excited we really haven't actually visited a lot of Montana no not really yeah just mostly the southern area. So we have high hopes for our boondocking location. The boys really want it to be on the river. <laughs> they do! Yeah, you too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they want to throw rocks in the river, so we'll see. Hopefully we can fulfill that wish. Yeah, I got burned by a dingleberry. See my toe, it used to be hairy. I watched it fall like a red hot cherry into my shoe and it was real scary yeah i got burned i got really burned by a red hot dingleberry it fell real far it fell really far see my toe it used to be hairy whether your brother whether your mother we're staying alive staying alive feel the city breaking and everybody shaking we're staying alive staying alive ha 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 staying alive staying alive ha ha Staying alive. All right, we found a place to stay the night. <laughs> oh, pretzels. We found a spot by a lake. Uh, kind of overlooking the lake and it took us a long time to find and it's dark now so we're, we're really eager to get things going and and get the kids out of the car hey Sammy did you see my one in there? what? there's one in over there there's bumps yeah lots of bumps <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah. How did Teddy Boy do? Um, let's just say he was done about half an hour before we found this place. <laughs> He's content now. He just needed to eat. Hey, Duck. You ready to get out? What? I at Duck. Duck wheels? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Cutie. Well, it feels good to be parked for the night. Oh, yeah. 
It definitely does. I mean, my least favorite thing about RVing is when you have to travel to a spot that you don't know what it is. Like in boondocking, you know, you can do all the research ahead of time, but at some point you still gotta go and find a place for yourself. And as we found out yet again, sometimes that place just does not exist. <laughs> and so the worst thing is going to a spot you thought you knew, not having that spot, and then driving until really late with cranky boys in the car, in the dark, trying to find somewhere to stay for the night. I think that's my least favorite thing about boondocking and RVing probably also. I'm sorry for the monologue, but I really feel passionately about this. You asked. You asked if I was happy to be here. <laughs> Ooh, what are we having? Ah, hot dogs. Don't touch. Hey. How old are you now, huh? Are you two months old? Two months? Can you say I'm two months old? Ah, uh, yes. Hmm, oh, not too wrinkled. <laughs> okay, that's a little too hot. What are you drinking? Uh, <laughs> coffee. Coffee? It's, ten, it's almost... I'm not going to say what time it is. <laughs> it's really late. It's... <laughs> well, you know what? Once in a while, there comes a day when you just need one before bed, okay? It's not really coffee, actually. It's just like this coffee-like drink. You know, the sweet, yummy, delicious thing with no caffeine in it. But it's hot and it feels really good right about now. <laughs> so it's been a rough day. Hey, there's one for you over there on the table. Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> thank you. Um, that window is really dirty. Wow, yeah. What's that? <laughs> um, probably sawdust or something. Wait, that's not my fault then. <laughs> we do clean in this motorhome. <laughs> Been doing lots of remodeling and lots of sanding and making dust. and <laughs> Everything's just coated with dust. Right. And that's why also it's just partially why we wanted to come to this trip. It's just because we've been pushing so hard to finish this project, the loft, and it's finally finished. But now we just feel like we need a break. We just want to relax and actually live a normal life for a bit. <laughs> yeah. So that's why the coffee, you know. It's late, but it's been a long day with little kids in the car. And we finally made it and they're happy and they're winding down for bed and it's a perfect time to enjoy a cup of coffee. Not coffee. Coffee like drink. <laughs> coffee, okay. All right, call it whatever you want. <laughs> Is it coffee if it doesn't have any caffeine in it and really no coffee bean probably I, either? I'm sure it has caffeine in it. It's just like syrup and milk and sugar <laughs> it doesn't really taste like coffee though no see it more tastes more like cocoa yeah kind of like flavored cocoa yeah but it does say coffee on it, mm. so whatever <laughs> <laughs> anyway we're tired apparently kind of going on a tangent here <laughs> okay we we promised ourselves that we wouldn't do any any more 10 p.m. monologues but because <laughs> i have to edit all that out i like we, if we go too late and just sit down in front of the camera like what we're doing right now it's a moment of truth uh, when i'm editing the video <laughs> i end up cutting out like 10 minutes worth of footage and just keeping like a few seconds of our monologue well hey but isn't that true like don't you don't you think so that at night it's like the best conversations ever happen late. That's true. I get a lot of inspiration at night. And it's always fun to visit. And, you know, if you, like, uh, have people over really late, it's like the best conversations always start late. It's like before it's like chit-chat and oh, then everybody can. gets inspired. Yeah, there he is. He's getting ready for bed, too. <laughs> he did really good, though. Oh, wow. Oh, but he's saying, he's saying, hey, it's time to say bye-bye. Aww, 
Yep, it's time to say bye bye. All right, we're gonna see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.